छत्तीसगढ़ चीफ मिनिस्टर भूपेश बघेल ऑन थर्सडे इनोग्रेटेड द स्टेट्स ओन ओलम्पिक्स बघेल इनोग्रेटेड द ग्रैंड मल्टी स्पोर्ट इवेंट एट बलबीर सिंह जुनेजा इंडोर स्टेडियम इन रायपुर क्लेमिंग टू रिवाइव द एज ओल्ड ट्रेडिशन ऑफ ट्रेडिशनल गेम्स नेमली लंगरी भौरा बाटी कांचा एंड पिट्ठू The event will continue till 6th January 2023 and as many as 14 types of traditional sports have been included in the team and individual categories of separate age groups. In a press note issued on Thursday, the government said, "Chhattisgarh is known for its rich and unique culture and tradition." However, as modern civilization grows, people are gradually forgetting their old culture and traditions. Soon after taking charge as Chief Minister of Chhattisgarh, Bhupesh Baghel started working on an action plan to promote the state's glorious culture and tradition. Now, Baghel has undertaken a special initiative to revive one of the most delightful parts of our age-old tradition, traditional games in a grand way by organizing the Chhattisgarhia Olympics. Pointing out the benefits of playing traditional games, Baghel said, "These games are not only entertaining but also beneficial for maintaining good physical and mental health. In rural areas, children, elderly, and youth all will engage in these games for entertainment and to keep themselves fit." The traditional sports competition of Chhattisgarh will be held in group and singles categories. A total 14 types of traditional sports have been included in the Chhattisgarh Olympics 2022 to 1923. The games falling under the team category include Gilli Danda, Pitthul, Sankli, Langari Race, Kabaddi, Kokko and Kacha. Similarly, games under the individual category include Bilas, Fukti, Gedi Race, Bhora, Indian Spinning Top, 100 meters race and long jump. The Chhattisgarhia Olympics will be organized at 6 levels. The first is the village level that will be of Rajiv Yuva Mitan Club. The second is the zonal level in which there will be a club comprising 8 Rajiv Yuva Mitan clubs. Similarly, at the development block urban cluster level, district level, divisional level, and lastly at the state level. Besides, there are three age group categories, including the first category for participants till the age of 18 years, the second for the participants under 18 to 40 years of age group, and lastly for participants above 40 years of age. The state government also issued a rule book, and they have been sent to each district. Commenting on the inclusion of games that are not part of national games, officials said the government is already promoting national sports with all resources. and the aim of this event is to promote local culture the aim is to provide a center stage to the village level sports so that a feeling of pride for the culture is inculcated secondly to channelize the energy of the local youths which is very important for our society said a senior official of the chief minister's office experts believe that the three month long tournament will help the government connect with people especially the youth of the state The strategy behind this mega sport event is to generate the feeling of regionalism among the people, especially the youth voters. Youth affiliated with Rajiv Yuva Mitan Club will be key in organizing these games, said an officer. Some believe that the event is a first of its kind but has limitations. Although this initiative is a first of its kind where focus is on local games, it has several challenges. Many games included in the event are only played in the plains of Chhattisgarh. There are many games of Tiawan Bialis which are not included. Secondly, the reach and involvement can be increased if the rules of these local games are institutionalized first, as there isn't any documented rule to play these games, especially Langari, Bhora and Kacha, said Harsh Dubey. A political commentator based in Chhattisgarh, he further said that if the good players come out of this event, they should also be given preference in government recruitment under sports quota 